Kodiak Bear versus Polar Bear. Who would win a fight between these two giant bears? A fight between a polar bear and a Kodiak Bear is a human fancy that can never happen in nature. Polar bears are the kings of Arctic ice sheets, while Kodiak bears have been isolated to the Kodiak archipelago for 12,000 years. Their paths never cross. Polar bear and Kodiak bear are two different species not only in their diet, habitat and distribution, but also in their behavior. The only common trait between the two predators is their size. They are almost of the same size. Either way, both animals have long fascinated biologists for their super strength and ability to take down prey nearly the size of their own. Size and Description Kodiak bears are the largest subspecies of the brown bears, which has given them a reputation in the wild as being a force to reckon with. The males can grow to be about 10 feet tall, 3 meters, and weigh from 800 to 1400 pounds, 362 to 635 kilograms. The females are smaller than that, but still a very large size overall. They can be about 500 to 700 pounds, 226 to 317 kilograms. This particular bear is brown in color. The overall coloring on the face is going to be lighter than what is found on the rest of the body. This is the distinct way to tell them apart from the grizzly bear. The enormous head of the Kodiak bear is worth taking a close look at. They also have powerful teeth and jaws that can tear through prey very quickly. They have bulky bodies so that they can store up fat. The claws of a Kodiak bear are very sharp and long. They don't have very good eyesight, but they make up for it with their great sense of hearing and smell. Polar bears are extremely large animals. While both sexes look alike, males are about twice the size of females. An adult male ranges from 7.9 to 9.8 feet in length and weighs 770 to 1500 pounds. The largest male polar bear on record weighed 2,209 pounds. Females measure 5.9 to 7.9 feet in length and weigh between 330 to 550 pounds. However, females can double their weight when pregnant. With their small ears and tails and short legs, polar bears are adapted to life in the Arctic cold. Their large feet help to help distribute weight on ice and snow. Strong, sharp claws are also important for gaining traction, for digging through ice, and for killing prey. Range and Habitat The Kodiak bear subspecies ranges only in the Kodiak archipelago in southwestern Alaska. The islands they live on include Kodiak, Sitkaladak, Afognak, Uganik, Shuyak, Raspberry, and some adjacent islands. This means the bears have a range of approximately 5,000 square miles of islands. These large mammals live exclusively in subpolar climates, just below the Arctic Circle. The archipelago is in close proximity to the ocean, which provides a variety of food sources. On the islands, habitats can range from dense forest to icy mountains. Some islands also have flat tundra, hills, streams and lakes, all of which bears also utilize. In some instances, Kodiak bears inhabit more urban areas, particularly garbage dumps. Most polar bears occur north of the Arctic Circle to the North Pole. There are some populations south of the Arctic Circle in the Hudson Bay of Manitoba, Canada. Polar bears live in Alaska, Canada, Russia, Greenland, and some northern islands owned by Norway, such as Svalbard. 
Polar bears depend on the sea ice, which forms above the open waters where their seal prey lives. They will spend time on land when sea ice is not available. Polar bears are excellent swimmers, and they travel long distances between shore and sea ice if necessary. However, if a storm kicks up during these increasingly long swims, they can drown. These long swims and storms are also often difficult for cubs. During periods of ice breakup, polar bears frequently swim between floating ice islands. Diet Kodiak bears are omnivorous, eating a variety of foods. The bear's large size is mainly due to the abundance of food readily available to them on Kodiak Island. In general, Kodiak bears are solitary creatures, though they often feed in large groups when food is plentiful. After hibernation, they feed on vegetation and animals that died the past winter. Starting in May, the bears feast on a salmon run that lasts into October. Fish are an important part of their diet. However, Kodiak bears will more often spend their time feeding on vegetation rather than put in the time and effort required to kill animals. They also feed on several types of berries, seaweed and invertebrates. The polar bear's primary food source is seals. Their diet of meat makes them carnivores. If the food supply is plentiful, they will only eat seal blubber. This high-calorie meal helps the bears build up fat reserves, which keep polar bears healthy between feedings and help maintain their body temperature. If seal hunting isn't going well, polar bears will also eat anything they can find, such as fish, eggs, vegetation, reindeer, rodents, birds, berries, and human garbage. Behavior For the most part, Kodiak bears are solitary. They will live in areas with other bears close by and even feed on the same food sources, but they do not remain in social groups. Bears will determine dominance using different noises and body language to avoid fights. As with other bear species, Behavior varies based on proximity to humans. Bears that live in areas where human population is higher will be mostly nocturnal, while bears in more desolate areas are active during the day. Polar bears tend to live solitary lives, except when mating, when a female raising her cubs forms a family group, or when many bears are attracted to a food source like a beached whale. Young polar bears spending the summer ashore on the Hudson Bay coast will frequently play with each other, most commonly with their siblings. Polar bears near Churchill on the coast of the Hudson Bay are even known to play with chained sled dogs without killing them, which they could easily do. Now it's time to find out who will win a fight between these two bears, Kodiak bear or polar bear? There is, however, little doubt how it would play out, because Kodiak bears are a subspecies of the brown bear. Polar bears are terrified of grizzlies, to whom they always give up their kill or carrion. If a 1,500-pound polar bear flees from an 800-pound grizzly, it surely will not stay to fight a 1,200-pound Kodiak bear, which is just about identical to a grizzly except much bigger and proportionately stronger. At first glance, it seems that polar bears should dominate brown bears because they are bigger. A deeper dive into the facts sheds more light on the question. A Kodiak may not have much of a physical disadvantage to a polar bear for the following reasons. Kodiak bears have the strongest forelimbs of any terrestrial predator, and this is due to the humps over their backs being part of the muscles that operate these powerful tools. Polar bear claws are primarily three-inch cleats for good footing on ice. Kodiak claws are four to five inches long and much thicker. They are effortlessly used to dig huge holes in the ground 
and can inflict far more damage than polar bear claws. Grizzlies match polar bears in the size of their canines and in bite force, 1,200 pounds per square inch, but are more robustly built. Perhaps all this is not enough to overcome the strength that accrues to sheer body mass, but there is one final factor that is the Kodiak bear's trump card, stamina. Polar bears have great stamina swimming in icy waters, but on land, even in the most frigid places, they quickly overheat due to their superb insulation conferred by their thick fur and layers of fat. If the contest between polar bear and Kodiak bear could occur, the polar bear would flee even more urgently than it does from grizzlies. The Kodiak bear is almost the same size as the polar bear, stronger and has far better stamina on land. The polar bear cannot afford to lose this battle, therefore would retreat to save itself. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.